Okay, I want to talk about how to find the sine and cosine of angles that aren't acute. So I'm going to start with an example, finding the cosine and sine when theta equals 150 degrees. And I've drawn theta here in standard position. So I need to find the coordinates of point Q. Remember, x is going to be the cosine of 150 degrees, and y is the sine. And the trick to this is finding the reference angle. The reference angle is the angle made by the terminal side of your angle and the x-axis. And in this case, it's 30 degrees. And then you need to find the cosine and sine of 30 degrees, which by now we found. And the cosine of 30 degrees is root 3 over 2. Sine of 30 degrees is 1 half. Now, what does this have to do with the cosine and sine of 150 degrees? Well, if you were to draw the angle 30 degrees, it would be right here. This point would be the mirror image of point P across the y-axis. Let's call it point Q. And because we know the cosine and sine values, its coordinates would be root 3 over 2, 1 half. And that means the coordinates of this point by, sym by symmetry across the y-axis would be negative root 3 over 2, 1 half. And that gives us the cosine and sine of 150. So how do we do this in general? Well, find the reference angle, identify the cosine and sine, and the cosine and sine of the angles you're interested in are going to be plus or minus these values. So let me just write equals some space root 3 over 2 equals some space and 1 half. And just judge whether it's positive or negative based on the quadrant. Remember, in the second quadrant, x coordinates are going to be negative, y coordinates are going to be positive. So your cosine value is negative, and your sine value is positive. And that's it. Reference angles and quadrant. That's how to find the cosine and sine of an angle that's bigger than 90 degrees or smaller than zero.